to use this opportunity to talk about. It's uh, related to the homework, but I think it's good to uh, go over the. Uh, maybe I do this again, right? So, oh my God, this failed. It's still recording. So I just want to show you quickly how to. Uh, uh, it's in the homework. I want you to try ASAP. Connect to one of the server. I choose CAT2. Connect. This is the so-called remote desktop. Okay. I just say yes. And, and I got it by what? Typing remote desktop on the search. All right. Whether you have the uh, uh, MacBook or Windows, it is the same. I maximize it. Username. And then password. All right, then you need to go through one more uh, layer. Type your password. Okay, so here uh, I actually uh, request you to copy some of the content from assignment one. So please do that uh, when you go in. Uh, so when you go in, right, you, you, you might not see this because I already started. Go to top left, click on it. Then you will see at the bottom, you have this icon, right? You can click on more, and then, uh, and then just go through this icon, right, dot, and I want you to open this K console, okay? But uh, anyway, I opened already. And you want to follow what I said here, copy this to there. I want you to try. Some of you just put the dot right after the S45. Uh, no, there's a space. I want you to learn the Linux command yourself also, right? You should know how to use Linux command. For example, type ls, it gives you all the directory. Type pd, pwd, it gives you the path, right? Copy cp something, I actually did that uh, earlier, I can show you, right? Like, that's how I copy something from there. These are all you need to copy, I put in the uh, handout already. And after that, what you want to do is type virtual soul, right? So, spelling. Forgot to. Oh, sorry. Uh, you don't do this because uh, we already put in the script, right? Just follow what I put in the uh, handout. Dot S forty five. Then you will see this terminal. Okay. And what you want to do is to create a new library, right? So uh, if you go here, you see that uh, I want to create a new library by creator already, but I can create it again, right? Let's say uh, EE226, you can do anything. I want to attach to an existing library. So I'm a little bit fast, you read my menu, uh, my handout, and I say okay. What you mean say is I create a new library, but this library is attached to this cadence generic library, 45 nanometer. You can see it, right? And then say, okay. Then I create a new library. And then what do I do? Within this library, what I'm going to do is create a new cell. And that is the starting point for all the circuit design and layout. I say new cell, I just call it AMOS because I want to demonstrate how to do a MOS, start with schematic, and this is like, instead of demo, right, because I want to work in the library, EE226. Just say okay. So that, that's it, right? Then what I will need to do is to, here on the top right, I still see this icon, a transistor plus, I click on it, then I want to add a uh, instance, which is MOS. However, I should not use my library because I know it is, uh, I want to use the 45 nanometer library, came with cadence, right? So I just, I can browse also, right? It's already highlighted for, maybe you cannot see it clearly. This is 45. Uh, here I'm going to do a filter. I just say star MOS. Star. Then I'm going to kick, if you cannot see it, what I'm kicking is MOS one volt, right? I'm recording the video, you can see it later. Uh, this display has some problem, right? And then 
you see then, my cursor has this guy with me, okay? But before that, I also want to change this body type to, let's say, integrator, okay? Uh, the, the reason will be clear later, right? Then I click on it, just click. Okay, I click on it, escape, type escape, and then I type F, F, okay? Lowercase F, then it give me the full screen. Now, I did not teach you everything, but at your level, I really hope you try to Google, ask ChatGPT or whatever, learn this by yourself and learn together, right? I don't have a class for you just to do the layout, okay? F. And then, uh, for example, I want to connect this so-called body to the source. Then I will say uh, here, I have an icon, wire, right? I just click on it, left click, and then left click on this node. Then I can drag. And then if I le left click, then they will stop there. And then I can go here and left click one more time. Then they are connected, right? Then you can build your circuit. Now I want to do the layout. I go to launch. And then I say layout GXL. This is to call another uh, tool. They say create a new one. Okay, fine. Then say okay. Here say that now the view is layout instead of schematic, right? Earlier it was schematic. Now, you may run into problem that you click okay and then it dis disappear. This is something uh, funny. So you just uh, double click this so that you uh, not maximizing it, it actually already opened another window here, okay? And it doesn't have anything. I come back to the left, I click on it and type F so I can see the transistor full screen, right? I go to here, I don't see anything because I need to go to connectivity. And then I say generate, generate all from source. Again, now you cannot see it, but you can watch the video later, right? And just say, okay, whatever it says, right? And this is okay. Then you generate the layout. Now, this is a cell, you don't see anything. You need to do Shift F, means capital F. Okay, because it's a cell, and then you have hierarchy. So inside these cells, you have different layers. Make sense? You maximize it, double click, again, type F, then you will zoom to full screen. Of course, you can also have used this uh, magnifying glass to zoom in, zoom out. But what interesting is on the left, uh, you probably cannot see it clearly, but you can see in video, it has different layers. We'll discuss a little bit. If I click this I, this part, uh, not this part, click the V, right? I click a layer again to sort, yeah, I click V. Uh, I don't know how to go back, yeah. I click V, then you cannot see anything. Everything is gone, right? Then you can turn on layer by layer. For example, outside. This define the active area. We'll discuss this later, right? Uh, poly, this define the gate, where you put the gate. And then you have P plus impact, N plus impact. This define the source and drain and also maybe including the so-called threshold adjustment implant. You have this uh, P implant also because here is the body. I will show you later why it is the body. You can turn on metal <coughs> one. You can also turn on contact, right? So from there, you can study how this transistor look like. Okay, the purpose for this is just to show you quickly how to use this uh, Clayton's virtual soul, right? Let me go back. I already done what I said. I want to use this to show you the relationship a little bit. Let's look at the right side, the MOS, the PMOS. You try to do it yourself. This is very important. So if I look at this layer, I just show you that uh, I have a gate here, right? And then I also have this so-called active, uh, the oxide, remember? What does it mean? If you try to draw a cross section, you cut the chip, cross section. So it's just like a pizza, right? Now you chop it, cut it, and it look from the side. There is the cross section. Make sense? Do you understand what I mean? Like the pizza, you look from top, it's bird wheel. Now you cut it and look from the side. That is the cross section. So this layout is the bird wheel. You see all the pepperoni, or uh, etc. right? Now you cut it, now look at the side, you see a layer of pepperoni, a layer of cheese, a layer of bread. That's what I mean by side wheel. This is what I'm trying to show you as a side wheel. Now, you will see something like this. 
This is something called STI, shallow trench isolation. This is oxide, not conductive. Within here, you have the uh, silicon. This is the silicon. Of course, below the trench isolation, it is also silicon because this is the whole piece, right? the whole wafer, right? And then you will see here, this is the gate. This green one come down here is the so-called gate, right? And then if you look at this content, I have one, two, free contact, what does it mean? It means that here I also deposit some oxide, but I have an opening here. <clears throat> These are oxide, so they are isolated from each other. And I also have the implants, right? Uh, the, the yellow one, maybe I should just use yellow one. Here you give me some, can you see it actually? This is, let me just use red. This is N plus implant. I also have some red one here. This is P plus implant. Because I have an opening here, so everything under here will be P plus, right? I have this uh, here, so I have this N plus here. Now, uh, I know that, uh, Maybe you are not familiar with this, but later when you start doing the TCAS simulation, you will, be, you will understand. The only message I want to tell you is every layer has a reason there, and eventually they form the transistor, okay? So because of time, I will just stop here, okay? And let me know if you have any questions.